agency might remind you of the secret spies or agents involved in novels and movies who wear suits, carry fancy yet lethal weaponry in disguise, and are authorized to take actions against injustice, more importantly, in an autonomous fashion. In the context of LLMs, agency refers to LLMs making autonomous decisions. Excessive agency occurs when LLM plugins and extensions do not follow the principle of least privilege. Due to the probabilistic behavior of LLMs, their output might not always be foreseeable or in harmony with the desired operational objectives, rendering excessive autonomy a significant hazard. Excessive autonomy can be broken down into two different categories, excessive permissions, and excessive autonomy. Imagine an LLM application that is augmented with RAG connected to a patient's database. As the application expands and more doctors start using the application, doctors would also want to add notes about a patient. To develop the new feature of writing patient notes on patient records, the development team updates the LLM applications database permissions from read-only to insert, update, and delete. With these excessive permissions, if an attacker has compromised the LLM application, the attacker can trick the LLM to modify patient records or to delete patient records. Imagine applications that help you manage your stock portfolio. Applications can analyze your current holdings and provide an investment score or suggest more stocks to buy either for higher returns or for a balanced investment, depending on your risk appetite. After securing a major funding from venture capitals, the product management team decides to add new features to the investment application, which would help the application to automatically rebalance the portfolio of stocks for better returns. After all, we all want high returns. And if you don't know what rebalancing is, it's the act of buying or selling stocks in your portfolio to help you align with your financial goals. We now have a feature to automatically rebalance stocks. What if attackers try a prompt injection attack and make customers automatically purchase a certain company stock during rebalancing? That's an example of excessive autonomy. Excessive autonomy can also lead to a problem known as confused deputy. Confused deputy is when a system has legitimate permissions to perform a certain action, but it can be tricked or confused to perform actions that are not really intended. In general, the more functionalities an application has, the more complex the system becomes, and hence the more larger the attack surface becomes. That's a general principle observed throughout a system's design process. From a product management perspective, new features and new ideas make a product exciting for customers to purchase and buy, sometimes creating a FOMO, the fear of missing out on something. And when LLMs are being connected to different systems, without the principle of least privilege, a deputy can be confused. And with excessive permissions, the deputy, that is the LLM system, can be confused to perform unintended actions. Mitigating excessive agency boils down to two main things. Limiting the agency or autonomy that an LLM is allowed to have, validating and filtering the LLM's output to prevent unintended behavior. How can we limit the amount of agency an LLM might have? You will have to start treating LLMs like users of a system. If you do not want a user to have access to a certain document, you should not let the LLM have access to that document. If you do not want a user to perform a certain action, you should not let the LLM perform that action. Introducing humans in the loop for critical operations greatly minimizes the risk of LLM's autonomous behavior. For apps, agents, or plugins that consume LLM's output as their input, 
their permissions need to be reviewed. Most of the times set to read-only permissions to avoid accidental changes induced by attackers. Apps, agents, and other downstream systems should perform their own levels of authorization and security checks rather than relying on LLMs to decide whether an operation is allowed or not.